this is the fastest vehicle development environment known to man. And that's really valuable for Boeing. And it might not be obvious because one company's building a car, we're building aircraft and satellites, but we have some uh, really good overlap. Boeing and Lotus F1 team have been working together in additive manufacturing since 2005. Additive manufacturing is building parts directly from 3D data, 3D printers as they're commonly known. So there's no tooling involved. Additive manufacturing starts from the bottom up and grows the parts layer by layer by layer by layer by very selectively applying energy to the material. So this is an airfoil detail on, on the Lotus F1 car. The challenge there then is how do you get reinforcement to go in all different directions? We figured out a way to take uh, recycled carbon fiber from, from Boeing production uh, and then integrate that into the material such that when we spread the material into the machine, we have fibers going in all different directions. We found that we could make a, a better part like this by using additive manufacturing. And we know that the mechanical performance is uniform in all different directions and locations of the build. On an F1 car, they put all these aerodynamic details in the car to generate a lot of downforce to keep the car on the track through some really tight cornering maneuvers. And on our aircraft, we were using aerodynamic elements to generate lift. It's a big difference when you're going around track at 200 and some miles an hour, getting bounced at 5G side to side for you know two, three hours on end. That's five times the force of gravity worth of acceleration that is applied to the driver and every single component on the car just by going around the track. I mean, that kind of testing would cost us just a tremendous amount of money to simulate. Uh, and these guys do it every week. Every year, Lotus F1 team produces a, a new car and they work at just an amazing pace to react to, to the, the demands that they have in racing. And uh, we get the chance to actually uh, test these things out a lot faster than we would normally at home uh, because Lotus F1 team's product development cycle is so fast. As engineers, I think 30% uh, of your job is to worry. And then the balance of that uh, hopefully is curiosity. And one of the things that, that both Boeing and Lotus F1 team get to do is we really get to challenge physics. We really get to push against nature to go faster, go cleaner on all sorts of different fronts. When you look at that car and you, you know it's been influenced even just a little bit by some of the work that you, you know, put in, it's uh, tremendously satisfying.